Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have Sniper Elite, the board game created by David Thompson and Roger Tankersley, brought to you by Rebellion Games. Sniper Elite, the board game. One of the best hidden movement games I've ever played. This is by Tom Vassell from the Dice Tower. Bring the hit video game to your tabletop with Sniper Elite, the board game. A hidden movement game of deception and deduction for one to four players. Stalk through the shadows as elite allied sniper Cal Fair, Carl Fairborn or team up to command the defending Axis forces and hunt down your enemy before it's too late. As the sniper tracking your movement on a hidden board as you attempt to outfox your opponents in this deadly game of cat and mouse. Stealth is your greatest advantage, but an expert marksman knows when to reach for their rifle and turn the hunters into the hunted. Play as defenders, using your superior numbers and the unique abilities of your special officers to defeat your enemy. Tactical planning and careful insight are critical as you track the sniper's movements and outwit their bluffs, using your miniatures to block past guard vulnerable areas and move in for the kill. This game was released in 2022. You have your contents right there. This game is for ages 14 and up for one to four players and takes about 45 minutes to play. Brought to you by Rebellion Unplugged. For more information, go to rebellionunplugged.com. Okay. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. Alright, so right off the bat, we have you have the main rules and you have solo rules, and that's cool. So we'll look at the main rules first. One bullet can change history, background information, your table contents, all your components that you get in the box. You got um, all different kinds of stuff there. You got your setup, your sniper setup, your defender setup. You're playing the game as a sniper. Your goal, you must complete both of your objectives before you are wounded twice and before you end your turn with the defender's action cubes on the last base of the countdown track. If either of these occur, the sniper immediately loses and the defenders collectively win. Your turn, what can you do? You can shoot, you can loot, you can complete an objective. It explains what movement is. On the side here, it has, all right, so it has, on this side as well, what are the key points from the mass, map section? Can I see my objectives before choosing loadout cards? It's my first game, what should I choose? Okay. Should I announce what I'm doing? Where is my starting position? Can I split my movement? Why does the distance I move make a difference? Can defenders hear noise? through walls or either obstructions. Now I like that, these are like the frequently asked questions. And I like the fact that they have them right there in with the rules. This way, you know, you're playing the game, you're like, oh, what if I, you think of that question? Well, the answer is right there for you, that's cool. And of course, they give you examples of how movement is used and all that stuff of that nature too. This is slickly, I like how this is laid out, I really do. It says, do I have to declare who my target is? Can I target someone in my own space? Can I shoot from the starting position? Are units I've shot out of the game? Well, then they give you examples of shooting, hitting your target, revealing your position, misfire, reloading, affecting the shot bag, looting, completing objectives, using your loadout, and different examples that they have here. And they've got plenty of examples here for you to show you where the figures are and how you would use these different tokens. Okay looting items uh, looting seems risky can i move one space plant a mine then keep moving can i have multiple copies of the same loadout card how are the squads split between players what are the tracking cubes for what combination of unit actions is not allowed can i move into the sniper's space now you're playing as defenders your goal as defenders, you must work together to wound the sniper twice with successful attacks or slow them down enough that they run out of time. 
The sniper may never enter space with one of your units. So using your officers and soldiers to control their movement is key to victory. Your turn. You can move up to two spaces. You can attack the current space, spot one adjacent space, sweep the current space, deploy an officer, deploy a soldier, dismiss a unit from the board. Gathering intel, unit actions. Move up to two spaces, attack, spot, sweep, deploy officer, deploy soldier, dismiss. Got your specialist abilities. And of course, ending the game. Some more questions before the end. It says, what does matching adjacent mean? What if the officer's starting space is occupied? Does deploying a soldier count as an action for the officer or the soldier? How does the medic ability interact with the trench gun? Does the special sniper have a special shot bag? Are the kennel master's dogs alerted if I move one space? And the maps, you have sectors, you have spaces. It breaks down what is the difference. Open, enclosed, and elevated. Special stasis, objectives, difficult terrain, water, obstruction. Starting positions, you have officers, soldiers, and you have the sniper. Question, which map should I start with? How do the spaces affect shooting? What are the spaces, diff what are the spaces different sizes? What are the space edges where the sectors meet? What's line of sight? Does entering difficult terrain alert defenders? The sniper on the boat, okay, explains what that means, line of sight. Right, excellent. Does that mean I can shoot through walls? I am tracing through an enclosed elevated space if I start there. Or am I tracking, sorry, am I tracking through an enclosed elevated space if I start there? Line of sight, enclosed line of sight, elevated line of sight, examples of line of sight. What is and what isn't. Love the diagrams too, very, very well done. Really helps you explain what everything is. The cards, you have objective cards, sniper loadout, defender specials, specialist, you have the shot bag. Why are the objective style like playing cards? All right. Again, you have your different icons. Aim, suppression, noise, recoil. Map breakdown, launch facility. Enclosed areas, water spaces, difficult terrain, key loadout, key specialist. Map breakdown, submarine pens. Elevated areas, enclosed areas, unique area, tunnels beneath the walkway. Unique area, rooms beside the walkway, water spaces, obstructions, key loadout, and key specialist. Loadout, you have sound masking, S-mine, silenced ammo. Distraction, Tommy gun, trench gun. And of course you have all the good people who brought you this game. Tips for play, defenders, sniper, adjusting difficulty. Experienced sniper and experienced defenders. You can amp it up a bit. So the whole thing, the rule book is about 16 pages in length. And as I said, that's for mm -hmm. multiple player. They also have a solo rule here for you as well. Solo rules components used in the version, so you're going to take out certain cards, only be allowed to use certain figures. Defender setup, sniper setup, objective setup, of course, there's questions that are being asked. They're on the side for you to help you understand a little better. Health and hits, last known sector, possible objectives, the snafu rule, goals, movement, shooting, looting, completing objectives, loadout, ending your turn, and then you have the defender's turn. Soul card terminology, closest, unguarded, scan, search, attack, deploy, move, repeat for possible objectives, access spaces, assignments, end of the game, taking hits to summary. And assignment A, I use that card. What does encircle mean? It's explained there as well. And officer challenges, adjusting difficulty of the medic, you have the radio operator, you have the scout, you have the kennel master, Jagger, and sniper. So all different kinds of players that you're fighting against. So there you go. So that's your main rule book and your solo rules are right there. Punch outs. Got your player board. Solo defenders, 
solo sniper. Again, each of your tokens that you have here. More tokens over here. Back appear to be the same. Your tracker from one to 10. Oh, and again, it pops out and it goes right back in. This that is, that's really, really thick cardboard. Really nicely done. And there you go. So that's your token sheet. We also have some tiles in the back. I'm going to assume this is the board that you use for the sniper to track where you're at. So it shows your zones and locations around the board. Zone one, zone two, five, six, four, zone three is over there, seven, eight, nine. And that's one of them. another one here upside down so it looks like there's two different missions this is the one with the submarine here so that's number one two's over here three four again all the icons are explained in the rule books here's number five six up here Seven, eight, got a train, rail, railroad uh, there. You got nine. So then that, so that's your complete board right there. Again, looks like, yeah, that's for the sniper. For you to keep track of where you are. All right, that's cool there. All right. Then you have the actual game board, which is a very very large game board and again these are smaller versions obviously of the game board that I just showed you there this is where the uh, sniper tracks his progress as to where he is Put this aside for a second so we're gonna have to take a look at this real quick so this is one side of the game board which is so there's two missions obviously there's one with the submarine so there's your submarine and the actual game board, there's sector three, sector four, sector one is where the sub is, and there's section two, which is again there. And then you have sector five down here. Very bold and colorful, the whole map is very, very cool. Six, seven, the base itself, Eight is down by the railway. And nine is over here. You see it right there. Now flip this over. There's a complete another board, which is the other board we were talking about. So I'm going to do this very gently. So let's see if I can do it this way. So it gets a little hard. The way the board is set up, so I want because I don't want to break the board by showing it to you. There's section one, sector two is over there. Then you have down here is oh, sector three is over there. Sector four is in the middle. Sector five. Sector six. Sector seven. Sector eight. And sector nine, which looks like it's a big warehouse. What it looks like, this would tell me it looks like a big, big, big warehouse. And the other side is some sort of sub deck. So I'll pull this stuff over for a second. Put this down so you can take a good, good look at the actual game board.
I'm trying to be very gentle with it because obviously I don't want to pop the board and rip it. So that's what the full game board looked like. And again, the sniper board, which is a smaller, much smaller board, obviously. So there you go, you got this up at the top. And again, it shows you all the layout of it. And there it is. Okay, and that's your sniper board. It tells you right here. So where the red is, is the red line. Where the yellow is, is the yellow section. The blue section up here, up top there. Down here is the black section, which is right over here. Now, if I flip this over very carefully, so I'll pop it again. Same. And very cool. That's your game board there. And this would be your sniper from, let's see, let's make sure we got this set up the correct way. So eight is, yep, so eight's at the bottom. You can see H right there. The top is up there. One is up there. So section one, as you can tell, is right there. Over here is two, three. Then you got four here. You got five here, six here, seven over there, eight down here, and section nine down here. And it's all shown right there on the mini board here, which is your sniper board. And that's really cool. I really like that, actually. It's a really... So that's a little bit different. There you go. Put that over here. Put this up here. And you have your, also have your rule books as well right here. So you also inside the box you get a nice plastic tray here. Slots for everything to put your tokens in. And there are your figures up top. So we're going to get to all that right now. Get your black bag where you put your tokens in, where you're going to pull out. Some, some plastic cubes. They're not wooden, they are plastic. I'll have to take so you can see what they look like up close. One black, one yellow, and one red. You get some clear cubes as well. Put one out so you can take a look at what that is. Looks like. There you go. Those are your cubes. Figure bases. I'll see it pops onto one of your figures like so. Easy to take off, pop that off. You just push your finger in there and it should easily come off. That should pop right out of there and he did. Okay. And there's one of those and you got a whole bunch of those which identify the figures on the board, who is what and where their location is. There you go. You also have a wet dry erase marker for then that would be used on your sniper board you also have some cards here that many cards but you got some you got I'll see your solo deck which would be for your solo game you have these you have gray cards you have some red cards and you have German Iron Cross and of course you have soldier 
I'm assuming this is your sniper cards. Okay, so let's start with those first. Now your S mine. So let's see, it has an S mine title, what it does. Then you have down here, secretly mark your current space on the hidden board with an X. If an enemy unit ends their movement on that space, they are immediately killed. Reveal this card, remove the unit from the board, and remove the mark. Reveal when triggered. Okay. Again, S mine, S mine, silenced. Ammo, ammo, you have to reveal it before you're shooting. Distraction, a rock. Sound masking. Tommy gun, trench gun. So those are the, those cards. Now you have your German, the Iron Cross. Your medic. So it tells you title of a character and it tells you what his, I guess your abilities are. When a sniper shoots a soldier in the, this squad, you may immediately use this action to keep them alive. They remain on the board. This agility does not protect against mines. You have a scout, Yager, radio operator, sniper, kennel master. And those are your German players. You also have your, what I want to call it, your gray deck. Steal the Enigma machine. Oh. Damage the a fail, a fail safe, steal the attack plans, recon the facility, bomb the boat, destroy the landing gear, plant instructions for the informant, sabotage the torpedo store, and destroy the fuel supplies. I'll see those are your mission cards for your sniper. And this is probably the mission cards for the Germans. Sabotage, oh no, sabotage the submarine. Obtain the enemy sniper report. Locate the report on local resistance. Steal the general's journals. Steal the rocket blueprints. St destroy the fuel reserves. Destroy the weapon cache. Destroy the ammo storage. And booby trap the vehicle depot. Oh, I guess these are what you have to do in each area. Now each area is listed as, like for this one, it's one through nine. So this might be, this board here is only up, oh, this is up to nine. So this, this is probably the sniper's role for this side of the board. And these are for the submarine side of the board, which is the other side, which only goes, it has nine step phases as well. So that's what it's, so red is for this side. And this is for the uh, other side, got it. All right, very cool. And then you have your missions for your solo. And this says, hunt, all defenders search, gather intelligence, encircle, high alert, patrol, retreat, hold position, guard all entries, ambush, installations, grenades, Simon A, let's see what this one says, urgent, update the LKS, then deploy all defenders from squads not matching the LKS these spaces. Assignments B. Again, each of these icons, it'll all be explained to you who is what and where they go and everything else of that nature. Assignment C, assignment D, spotlights, search positions, assignment A, B, C, I'm assuming, and D, I'm assuming these are for, yeah, these are for the different maps. So this is one type of map and this will be for the other side of the map. So this would be the way this looks to me. Assignment A, that would be for, because it's got nine, again, it's got the nine on this side. I'm assuming this is for this map here, yeah. And this tells you where they're gonna be. All right, so those, that's for that's for your solo deck, your solo deck for missions, for playing solo, obviously. Your dice. So it looks like it's got a little V, so you got a one, Got three, two. So you got three threes, two twos, and one three on that die. And you only get one of those. There you go. And last but not least, you have your figures. 
very cool shading on them. Really good looking figures. Very, very cool. Play right out of the box. Do not need to paint these whatsoever. That is a grayscale that is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's worth the price of admission right there. Very cool. So that's your sniper. He's on the run, trying to get away. Obviously, he's a German soldier. One of, the, one of the command officers. Very cool as well. Again, play right out of the box. No need for painting. Guy with a machine gun. High detail. Really cool looking. Very, very cool looking. I really like that. Really digging the fact that they're, I don't want to say pre-painted, but they are shaded, which makes it look even cooler. German, with, uh, German soldier with a rifle. like a general or commander commanding officer another grunt with a rifle a pair of binoculars again these figures look really awesome they really do the 28 millimeter they are a little thin so they're not heroic scaled very cool looking guy with that helmet on. Wonder if that's uh, him as an infiltrator. Not sure. Have to read the rules on that, but he kind of looks like a guy who's running. They kind of the heads kind of look the same. That's a little different. No, the haircut's different. So, no, probably not. Then he's just a regular German soldier. Very cool with machine gun. Very cool. Very happy about these figures. Very happy with the quality of these figures. Again, another man in charge. Telling the troops what to do. Very cool. A couple more. We got this guy right here. Another guy with a rifle. And last but not least, some guy with a hat. Very, very cool. All the figures have cool poses. Look great in the shading with the way it was done. No need to paint them at all. If you choose to paint them, I mean, that's, that's a choice you make, but there's no need for them in my mind. That's phenomenal. They look awesome. Some of the best figures I've seen so far. Wow. So that concludes and that is everything that's part of this unboxing for Sniper Elite, the board game. Really, really cool. Really loving it. And again, this is by Rebellion Unplugged. As always, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to get started in this game. Um, but again, thank you so much for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you can, give us a thumbs up. You can always leave a comment below. I always love to read what you guys have to say. Also, if you do enjoy the, uh, what, the content that you saw today, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date anytime we release any new content. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Be safe, be well. Enjoy the remainder of your day. I'll catch you on the next unboxing video.